I'm often asked how I know whether a bird of prey like this is male or female. Well, this is Bailey and he is a barn owl. I know he's male for one main reason. There are actually five different ways to tell whether a bird of prey is male or female, and I'm going to list them now, starting with the one that's the least reliable and finishing at the top number one with the one that is the most reliable. At number five, it's the sounds that the birds make. Certain species of birds of prey will make the same sound whether they're male or female, whereas others have certain sounds and calls which differ. For example, a large owl, like an eagle owl, would usually have a hoot, a bit like you can hear in the background there, and the female would have a slightly longer, deeper hoot. So there is that bit of a difference there. You also have mating calls like this clip here of a burrowing owl. So that is a male burrowing owl making the call, essentially looking for the ladies in the breeding season. Now the reason why the sounds they make isn't the most reliable way of knowing whether a bird is female or male is because sometimes they don't differ that much between the two sexes and sometimes the male will make sounds the female kind of makes and back and forth as well as they both have the same ability to make those noises. So it's not a bad little indication but it's not really a foolproof way of knowing the difference. At number four, it's the feathers, the markings on the plumage that can vary between male and female. Now, usually in birds, the males are more colourful, they're prettier to attract the females, but that's not usually the case in birds of prey. Sometimes the markings are exactly the same, but there are some examples where they differ. The best example of markings on a bird of prey would be with the barn owl. You can see Bailey here is pure white on his breast. Females usually have speckles that look a bit like this. So with the common barn owl, we can generally tell the difference between a male or a female from the markings on the breast. However, it isn't completely certain because sometimes males can have a few light speckles and sometimes you can get paler females as well. However, it's still a pretty good indication. So I'd say I'm about 95% sure that Bailey is actually male. At number three, it's the size of the bird. In most cases, the female birds of prey are larger and more powerful than the males. In the cases of some raptors, like peregrine falcons for example, the females can be three times larger than the males. This is known as a tear cell bird. So a tear cell peregrine would be a very small male peregrine falcon for example. So in that case it's very easy to tell the difference between the male and female from the size. A large owl like Ollie here is again very different to the female. Here you can see a clip of Henrietta, our female eagle owl, with Ollie here, the male eagle owl, and you can see the size difference. Ollie's weight is around four pounds, Henrietta's weight is around six pounds. So there is a great difference between the two, and this makes it much easier to know the difference between a male and a female. And this works across all birds of prey, well, very nearly all anyway, and the male is going to be smaller. Sometimes you'll have a bird and you can't tell if it's perhaps a large male or a small female, depending on the species and that particular bird in question. But the size is still quite a good indicator of whether a bird is a boy or a girl. At number two, we have DNA testing. This modern world gives us all kinds of advantages, including the ability to take a DNA sample, have it sent off, and they will come back with male or female. You would think this would be number one, but the reason it's at number two is that I have heard of cases before where people have had tests back showing that a bird was male, and then later that same bird has laid an egg, which leads us on to number one. The best way of knowing whether your bird is male or female is if it lays an egg. 
Henrietta, our European eagle owl, may be big, make that hooting noise that sounds more like a female, but we know 100% she's a girl because she lays one or two eggs a year and make a lovely omelette. No, I've never actually tried to be honest with you, and you wouldn't want to because she sits on those eggs for about a month, keeping them nice and warm, and wouldn't want to crack one of those open by the end of it. So, when it comes to sex and birds of prey, we sometimes have something singular, like the markings or the size. At other times, it's a combination of them. Some of our birds we know are definitely male or female, and to be honest, some of them, we just take a bit of a guess. Have you any idea which one we've guessed the most? Yes, it's Gizmo, the Indian Scops Owl, simply because he weighs just a tiny fraction less than perhaps the average weight of an Indian Scops Owl would be at about 120 grams. So the guess is that he's a male, but to be honest with you, it's kind of a 50-50 with that one. I hope you enjoyed this video and please press subscribe. It really does help us out. Lots more videos in the production line for this year. Thanks for watching.